You probably wouldn't know it by looking at his work, but Arnold Placencia is new to painting. I started a year ago and I've done a few, few paintings here and there. You also wouldn't know he can only see his art when he looks up close with his phone camera. I don't know what it is about the technology with phones that, um, I guess because there's a backlight, you know, behind the image that I'm seeing on my phone that allows me to see um, clear. When Arnold was a kid, he started losing his vision. And it went misdiagnosed, um, I think in part because I didn't have access to good uh, health care. But finally, just three years ago, he got answers. I was diagnosed with start guards, which is a form of macular degeneration um, that basically causes the cells to die off, which then causes uh, central vision loss and, um, sorry, um, uh, color blindness. The diagnosis came with a deep depression and symptoms that are only expected to get worse. It was a hard pill to swallow. It was, you know, I kind of felt like um, my life was over. But then his partner and one of their friends found a way to pull him out. We showed up to his house and he had easels all set up and he's like, we're gonna paint. And I was just, I stared at him and was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Like, I can't see, how am I gonna be able to paint? So I, I didn't say anything, but he saw that confusion and was like, don't focus on what you can't, what you can no longer do, but focus on what you still can. He can stroke a paintbrush and find ways to use the vision he still has. I can see this little spot of clarity and I just move along. And I do, I paint one brush stroke at a time. And usually hours later, I step back, take pictures, and I'm just like, what the heck? I can't believe that I actually did that. Now his work is on display all month at the Das Co-op Art Gallery, and each piece tells a story about his battles. This one I called Miss You Sunset. I remember when I first moved to Southwest Florida, I was still able to see some, but I can't experience that any longer. Um, so, I cool. sorry. Another shares the strength of support. And when we walked out of the uh, clinic, my partner grabbed my hand and said, "I got you." I'll be your eyes. And so it was a moment I kind of wanted to capture on a canvas. He hopes his art brings awareness to Stargar's disease and spreads hope to others who may be struggling. I want them to know that our disease isn't a death sentence. You know, we can do amazing things. We may have to adapt and change the way we do things, but we can do things nonetheless. Things he never even tried to do until he used his limitations to take back some of his freedom. And it was just this feeling of feeling alive again. It was a feeling I didn't want to ever go away again, and so I've continued to paint since then.